They build our world. The 3.1 million people working in the construction industry create the homes we live in, the schools and hospitals we rely on, and the buildings we work in. But there's a worrying mental health problem developing. Suicide rate among construction workers is now three times the national average for men, equating to more than two workers taking their own life every day. As a carpenter, I know my way around a building site and the stresses and strains involved. These can have an impact on workers' mental health, which is an issue not many people in the industry want to talk about. Something Michelle Wiles experienced firsthand. In 2019, after a period of stress, her husband Chris took his own life. He'd come home and he, he just couldn't switch off. I noticed it when uh, he would just, just not sleep at night. And he just became withdrawn at home as well. Towards the end, he did become depressed and anxious. Mm -hmm. What time frame was that? It wasn't over a long period of time. It was three months, literally. What would you recommend anyone doing quite early on if they're watching you having this conversation? Don't be afraid to ask. Don't be afraid to tell someone that you're struggling. It is about starting that conversation, having the open conversation without feeling that you're a failure. I want people to feel much more confident that if they do reach out, it is okay before it gets too late. It, it, was, it was just too late with Chris. No other family should go through what we've been through or no one should go through what Chris went through. While the construction industry can be a rewarding one to work in, it is also one where working conditions, travel and other factors can contribute to poor mental health. When it comes to physical health and safety, wearing a hat and steel toe cap boots on site was made a legal requirement in the 90s. But it's not just physical health and safety that causes workers' issues. Maybe it's time more safety provisions were put in for mental health as well. Steve Martin has over 30 years experience and he's now a managing director of a construction company. So why do you think mental health issues are so prevalent in the industry? I think the industry is very much driven by deadlines and if we don't hit it um, effectively that's costing the client money mm -hmm. and added to the fact that the guys are often away from home all week and they've got their wife at home maybe saying, well, can you come home? I've got problems with the children. And so it's not particularly just work, it's everything yes, collectively? Yes, it's everything. Typically 2.9% of construction workers will be injured at work, mm -hmm. whereas in the normal industry it's 1.7%. Mm -hmm. And the reason they have more accidents, I believe, is, is linked to the, their mental health and, and the, the difficulties they face. The capacity to function properly? Yes. Okay. If you recognise that one of your workers is struggling a little bit, Yes. What are the things you put in place to help them? Probably the most uh, impactful thing we did was join Mates in Mind about three years ago. Mm -hmm. When I say the word mental health, what do you think about? It can just be, I don't know, feeling sad yeah. when, when you get up in the morning. Every one of our employees has been on the start of the discussion course and it teaches them to talk about mental health and to ask their peers to recognise the symptoms and talk to people about it. See, some people then, they're afraid to say to people about it, and then it escalates and snowballs and gets worse and worse. Mates in Mind is a UK charity that is determined to address mental health issues in the workplace, particularly in the construction industry. It goes into companies and holds workshops designed to give team members a chance to voice feelings that until now they may have kept hidden. And where do you think that fear comes from? From a male point of view, all, all of us have been ingrained as, from a young age that you don't cry, you're the strong, you have to be strong, you need to do everything. Paris Forrester works for the charity and is one of the people responsible for getting the conversation going. Let's just think about some of the pressures you face at work. Uh, there's a big construction site you've got here, issues that are outside your control. There is a pressure to get things done, you know, you've got so many different facets that you have to manage. Hopefully, what we're seeing here is the foundation of a bigger change across the whole construction industry. Have you noticed a shift in the attitudes within sites? Things are definitely shifting and changing. However, we know they're going to speak to their colleague beside them and it's that person who's going to say, you know what, Ian's a bit off today, um, are you feeling okay? And what one thing we always say is ask twice, because the chances are, I say, how are you? You say, fine. Exactly. <laughs> so we say ask again. Yeah. Um, and it's that encouragement and that reinforcement that it's okay to talk that's really going to get them opening up 
Yeah. It's about creating this supportive network and making sure they're not on their own to deal with it and have a plan in place for them. If I've learned anything today, it's that getting the conversation going with family, friends, workmates and bosses in the construction industry can be life-saving. Building sites, rightly so, are full of warning signs like trip hazards or reminders to wear your personal protective equipment. But from what I've heard today, there's one sign we all could do with seeing a little bit more of. Mind your head.